and then a double press will get you the green LED. Pretty simple. Hey, what's happening guys? Today what I've got for you is a little bit of code to work out how to detect single, double, and long button presses to call different functions in your Arduino sketches. And what we're using here for our example is just a simple common cathode RGB LED. So if you allow me, we'll zoom in here and give you a basic look at it in case you're unfamiliar. So the way it works is there are four legs off this LED. The second leg from the left is the ground, the common cathode. First leg, red, green, and blue. So I've got a 270 ohm resistor on the common cathode and the wires are simply plugged into pins 11, 12, and 13. So it's like having three separate LEDs, but you only have uh, one package. Makes things a little bit simpler. So to keep things even more simple, what if we could access all three of those LEDs from a single button? And to do that, we have the button just connected to ground, so we're using the input pull-up, basically, the uh, pull-up resistor built into the ATmega 328P. And the button goes over here to uh, analog pin A1. We're also bringing 5 volts over to our power rail and ground. And that's it for the hookup. Really, really simple. Now let's go take a look at the code and the library that we're using for this. Okay, first of all, the tapping sound you hear are giant raindrops hitting on my aluminum window flashing about three feet away from where we're talking, so I apologize. Now, on to the code, which I call one button, two button, red, blood, red button, blue button, channeling, channeling my inner Dr. Seuss. Maybe I shouldn't speak at all today. I can't seem to make words come out. All right, so anyway, the library we're using, the one button library, there's a link here to where you can download it, and the link will also be in the description down below. So first of all, we need to include that library. And then we need to attach the button we're going to use. The command is one button, and then we're going to call it button. You can call it whatever you want. The button is plugged onto A1, and it's true. Then we're going to set up our outputs, so digital pin 13, 12, and 11 are all set as outputs. And then we're going to attach the functions to our button. So button, which we just declared up here. Button, the first one we're going to do is attach double click, and it's going to call a function called double click. So when it detects a double click, it will go to that function. Next, we will attach button, attach click, and it will call single click, and button, attach long press stop, long click. I don't know why that one is so different from all the other ones, but that's the way the library is written. Then in our loop, we have button tick. And what that does is it just looks for the button every few milliseconds. And we just have a simple delay here. And as you notice, there is nothing else in the loop. Then we begin our functions. The first one is double click. So what happens during a double click? Well, we digital write LED, third, LED 11. Oh my goodness. Digital write pin 11 high, wait a second, write it low. That's it. But of course, you can put whatever you want in these functions. And that's the beauty of having an easy to use library like this. Next one is single click, which lights, waits, and shuts off pin 12. And long click, which lights, waits, and shuts off pin 13. 
And guys, that's the entire program. Three complex things that you would have to write in code, all done for this simple library. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. Now, let's go take a look at it in action. All right, the code's uploaded. We'll power it up. Using just a 9 volt battery for power today with a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack. And we have single click, red LED for one second, double click, green LED for one second, and long click or long press, blue LED for one second. And that is so simple. And you can have three separate functions with one simple button. Cut down on your wiring, make your program a lot easier. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you guys do too. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you. That means a lot to me. That's it. I'm out. Peace.